Hello, my beautiful people, and welcome to Sandy's Library. I'm Sandy, and we're back today to do another reading for Twin Flames and Separation. So we're going to go ahead and get started. And just real quick, I want to uh, uh, mention that if you've never watched one of my videos, uh, you might want to check the description. Just a suggestion. Um, but right now, uh, we're going to play our little Scrabble game and see if we can find out who we might be talking to today. Okay, let's see. There we go. Okay. We have a J and an E. So, you can pull anything out of that first, middle, or last initial. Um, or perhaps a geographic location then this may be a message for you here. Um, if not, don't worry about it too much because, you know, it's a big group in the collective that we're talking to. Um, so, let's see. We have Divine Masculine Energies, Divine Feminine Energies, and one message from Spirit to kick things off. Um, I'm going to set the Divine Feminine aside for a bit and let's see what Spirit has to say. There is no dishonor in walking away from a 3D connection that isn't serving your highest good. It's very true. Very, very true. Sometimes, though, <clears throat> you know, the ego doesn't want to let us see that. But, anyways, um, let's see what the Divine Masculine's energies are looking like today. And I just want to mention real quick that when I say Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine has nothing to do with uh, man or woman, male or female. Yeah. It's all about energy, so don't get caught up in the pronouns that I use, because I personally am a divine feminine. But anyway, we have the King of Cups, the Queen of Swords, and the Eight of Cups. My guides are giving me the energies of Scorpio, Gemini, and Leo. Okay. The Divine Masculine is telling me that he caught a glimpse of this hopeless romantic energy that you know resides inside the king of cups he says that he caught a glimpse of that when he knew his divine feminine and now that's all he wants he says that's all he's wanted since he met his divine feminine was uh, for to find someone to make him experience that again because he wanted to feel what he was feeling with his divine masculine so he started looking for somebody to fill that void yeah i know we can all probably relate to something like that but anyways um <clears throat> this is what he found and y'all this is definitely not the divine feminine no. Uh, you know, if, if, if he's the king of cups, there's only one person that's going to fit with him, and that's the queen of cups. So, no matter what she thinks or wants, she's never going to be um, his queen of cups. And... Uh, you know, this is somebody who um, cuts him every chance she gets with her words. <clears throat> you know, but to be fair, this Divine Masculine has done the same thing to her. 
because she is well aware of the Divine Feminine's presence in his heart. And she knows that no matter how far apart in time and space that he is from you, and, and make no mistake, she knows you are the woman or, you know, the, the not necessarily a woman, could be a woman or a man who owns this divine masculine's heart. Um, Y'all get where I'm coming from. I can't start going there, you guys, and trying to explain and trying to generalize it. My <clears throat> mental capacity um, just won't allow it. I have too much trouble. So we just have to go with the pronouns that I use. And, you know, if I say woman and you happen to be a guy, uh, don't put too much stock in that unless I tell you to put stock in that. But anyways, um... Um, you know, she's well aware of it. She knows that he's, ne you know, he's never going to let go of this other person. And, 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 and you know, There's only one way she could know this, right? That's from him. So, you know, for me, that kind of treatment is uh, bound to drive you in the direction of uh, turning into the Queen of Swords, you know what I mean? Uh, probably with me, I mean, I, I see it as a messed up situation any way you look at it. He wants to be the King of Cups. Doesn't necessarily want to be the king of cups for her, though. And it's not that he doesn't want to, he just can't. You know? And and to be honest, you know, whether he can or can't is not the issue. What the issue is, that he doesn't mind telling her that. And that's what ends up, you know, turning her into the queen of swords. Because, I mean, you know... Um, Nobody wants to hear their spouse tell them, well, you know, I'm only with you because I can't be with this one, you know. <laughs> you know, and I'm not saying that either one of them are wrong. I'm just saying that that's what is. Um, and the Divine Masculine, he knows that he should leave this situation. I mean, see how? A lot of the cups behind him are in disarray. They're all toppled and turned over. <clears throat> and you know what else I noticed there? He does not seem to care the least bit about these cups. He didn't care about the ones that are still standing up any more than he doesn't care about the ones that are no longer standing. Uh-uh-uh. No, he doesn't. I mean, his attention is definitely somewhere else, off in the distance, perhaps on the past. My guides tell me that this card right here, the Eight of Cups, is the card of abandonment. And I feel like with a little encouragement, our Divine Masculine is ready to leave this situation. He literally, he's ready to abandon it. Uh, so, Divine Masculine, you know, thanks for being honest. So in light of the fact that we all know what's really inside your heart, including your uh, karmic partner, I'm going to call her a karmic partner because I just don't see how you would treat a soulmate that way. So, why don't you forget about the misery that comes with this one and give us a message.
here in the 3D to relate to your divine feminine. Let's do that. Let's do that. Forget about her. You know, if you leave her alone and let her go, then maybe she can go find her king of swords. Because they were made for each other. See, see where I'm going with this, y'all? <laughs> Same energy. That's what it is. Twin flames. Same energy. I don't resonate with twins being one soul split in half. But I do resonate with the fact that we are the same energy and we're the only two around like that. And everybody has a twin. Uh, everybody does. All right, Divine Masculine. What do you want to say? He says, I wish someone would tell me how to get you out of my head. That's never going to happen, dude. Never going to happen. Never, never. Here's two wants to come out. Mm. Lust at first sight. It's a thing. And I will always love you. Well. Mm. I feel like he's being very honest. I mean, yeah, he's a little bit cold-blooded. You know, it's kind of mean to tell someone that uh, I'm only with you because uh, I can't have the one that I really want. <laughs> you know, that's a little mean. But, you know, we just don't know what the uh, soul contract is between the Divine Masculine and this karmic. We don't really know the intricacies of what's going on there. And guess what? We're not going to know beyond the surface because I don't read karmics. <laughs> you know, I just, I just don't do tarot readings for karmic partners. I mean, we, we can all figure that one out. You don't need cards to help you see that. So anyways, um, Will Beth says, spread the cards. <laughs> she called me name back. I'm going to tell you what it was. I called her back, too. He says, wherever you are, that's where I want to be. Yeah, we're kind of getting that because look at him. And then, you know, he's built a lot back here, you know, with all of these cups. But I didn't give a shit about him. He says, <clears throat> I can't bear the thought of looking into your eyes and ever seeing anything but the light that brightened them when you used to look at me. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like uh, we're not going <coughs> to get any <clears throat> more information out of him, you know. So, I'm going to break for a drink of water for a second. And then, what we're going to do is we're going to set him aside. And we're going to... Uh, See, see what the Divine Feminine has to say. Uh, let's see if we can uh, find out what's actually going on here. Oh my, look at that. The Queen of Cups. Mm, what did I just say? The Page of Cups. And the Sun. Good gracious. Excuse me. <clears throat> My guides are giving me the energies of Virgo, Leo, and Scorpio. 
And my goodness, there is so much emotion attached to um, these cards. I mean, look at this. Uh, with the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. Like I told y'all, you know, these two were made for one another. Now, in the same way that divine partners or twin flames were made for one another. <clears throat> and no matter how hard the Queen of Swords tries, she's never going to be this for him. It's impossible. She's not his divine feminine. She's somebody's divine feminine, but she's not his. And you know, Willa Beth wants us to remember that every karmic partner is someone's twin flame. Someone else's twin flame. Not yours, but someone else's. So, not yours, no, well, not anybody's. Uh, everybody quit talking at once. That was confusing me. <laughs> okay, so yes. Every karmic partner is someone else's twin flame. You know, so if you are in a karmic relationship, then don't forget. You know what that makes you? That makes you someone else's karmic nightmare. Yeah. Uh, so, and you know, since we are all in the end interconnected, <clears throat> uh, you know, because my, my guys and I, we, we resonate with the law of one for the most part. So, if we're right, it's something to think about the next time you want to go on a tirade about uh, your divine masculine's karmic partner. You know, and I know that's a lot of fun. One of my favorite readings of late was the one about the karmic who decided to incarnate in the butt ugliest body that she should, she should, she could find, and she accomplished that goal. I mean, I've seen her image. She accomplished that goal, and me and the divine masculine both know that. Uh, so, you know. Anyway, you know. M let's forget about my own personal. <laughs> Stories. Uh, let's just get back to this reading. Yeah, I'm sorry, you guys. I'm a little scatterbrained this morning, but at least I have a little bit of it. Joan and Grace there pulling me back on track. Um, so, um, because of this third party situation that's going on over here, our divine feminine she's falling into this daydreamer type of energy. Yeah, she has. You know, she's daydreaming. And <clears throat> honestly, maybe even nighttime dreaming too. Um, because she is fixated on, you know, I'm the Queen of Cups, he's the King of Cups. Um, we are supposed to be together. And, and notice that she's pregnant. Here. Now, I'm not saying you're pregnant. You could be. Uh, and if you are, really pay attention. But, um, she's telling me that <clears throat> it's not necessarily that she is pregnant, but that's what she wants. She wants a family. She wants family with her king of cups, okay? That's what she wants. And right now, she doesn't see how that's going to happen. Because of this karmic situation. So she's been daydreaming, you know. And the only dang thing that's positive in this whole reading seems to be this card right here. I mean, individually, most of these cards aren't half bad. But all together... They're affecting the energy of this card. <clears throat> but, 
put it all putting that aside, the divine feminine, she's well aware <clears throat> that the divine masculine needs to make the decision to leave this connection that isn't serving him. And look, y'all, remember what Spirit said. There is no dishonor in walking away from a 3D connection that isn't serving your highest good. Remember that? You know? And, you know, he's got to do that all by himself. Even though, I mean, you know, you can send him, he wants you to send him encouragement. And you can do that if you want, but, you know, he's got to make that decision to leave that <clears throat> situation by himself. And I get that the Divine Feminine, because <clears throat> she's telling me that she doesn't want to interfere with the work that he's doing over here. Because she knows what the ultimate goal is. And she's well aware that you get more than one lifetime uh, to complete these goals. Um, but anyway, I digress again. Um, back to, she, she, she thinks she's interfering. She would be interfering with his work to tell him to come to her. But, here's the thing. He's not really doing any work over here. Not anymore, anyway. Uh, I'm told that he's already completed the work that he was meant to do with this situation. Which is why the connection is no longer serving him. And he's sitting over here in this energy now. You know? Well, even so, I mean, we've got a divine masculine who is still controlled, for the most part, by his ego, which tells him that a man honors his commitments, or he's only a shell of a man. <laughs> you know, <clears throat> I'm not saying that's wrong, not entirely, just saying that there is such a thing as taking things too far. And I think you might have taken this a little too far, Divine Masculine. Because, you know what? We get trapped up in this good versus evil sort of thing when we should be concentrating on positive versus negative. You know, personally, I have never spoken to or heard of evil souls. From what I've been told, what we consider evil here in the 3D has more to do with the inability or the degree to which a soul can, can't, can't, not can, but can't, or has trouble with connecting and meshing with the human ego here in the 3D. But I digress. <clears throat> anyway. I just want y'all to note that um, this, 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 this right here. If he did care about this situation with the Queen of Swords, all of these cups that are behind him would be all stacked up precisely. They would be incredibly neat. You would know they were taken care of. But they're not. If anything, they're being neglected. So, his work here is done. His ego won't let him admit that, though, because of preconceived notions that we like to wear like badges here in 3D. So, until he realizes it's okay to let go of this connection that is no longer serving him, Nothing going to change for anybody involved here. I am sorry to say. And our Divine Feminine, she knows that. So she's just sitting over here trying to daydream union with her Divine Masculine into existence. You know, and typically I'd call that a fruitless effort. <clears throat> but with this card popping up and all of these cups on both sides of the reading, <laughs> I don't know. Divine Feminine, you just might get through to your Divine Masculine. I feel like he'd come to you, 
I mean, he's already told us he would, if you just give him the nod. Hmm. So. Divine. Is there a message you'd like to give, send, to the Divine Masculine here in the 3D? We're going to give her the same opportunity that we gave him. Uh, let's see. Let me see if we can just... Let's see. Let's right here. She says, I thought running away would solve all of my problems. Sounds like we hear a butt there. <laughs> For whatever it's worth, I'm truly sorry for all the pain and hurt that I've caused you. Let's see. She says, I didn't want to be responsible for robbing you of your dreams. Well, honey, that's not his dream. You are. So, you need to, yeah. You need to understand that wasn't his dream. So, let's see. Let's try this deck. The Crazy For You and the If I Had Married You decks were uh, <clears throat> based on two of my books. The first book I ever wrote and the last book I ever wrote. Uh, so, the messages come from those books or were inspired by the stories. And the other two, uh, the messages were given to me by my guides. And all of our decks were created by Sarah Tarot. You can get more information about them in the description. She says, every time you entered the room, I lit up like a Christmas tree. I'm, I'm getting, she literally did. That's what I'm getting, and it's not coming from her. <clears throat> it's true what they say, misery does love company. Yeah. It's hard not to fall in, down into that kind of energy. Uh, I know I always try to hide what's really going on inside of me. Well. Sometimes I feel like you're right where you want to be. One more. She says our time together was picture perfect. Okay, so at least she told him that much. I mean, everything else, she's, she's being very guarded and, you know, you can't really blame her. <laughs> When there's a third party situation going on here, you can't really blame her. Um, uh, let's go ahead and give them the opportunity to talk to one another. <clears throat> let's see if they'll have a conversation for us. And Divine Feminine, please cooperate. I know he wants to. And it'd be really nice if you would cooperate, too. And, um, you know, and because she's hesitant, you know, this could be one of those times where some other people get through. But, uh, we'll interpret as we pull. So... Okay. I want to get this one in right here. He says, Divine Masculine Energy, that's how we know it's the Divine Masculine. <laughs> I strive to be a better person because of you. She says, so let's come way down here. 
It's always been you. Now I see why she wanted to go away down there. Okay, Divine Feminine. What do you want to say to him? She says, I'm living the consequences of your choices. Now, yeah, I have to say that's pretty accurate. That's pretty accurate. My God. <laughs> Check that out, y'all. She's living the consequences of his choices, and he's living the consequences of his choices. Yeah. Okay, divine masculine and divine feminine. He says, I wonder what you want from me now, if anything. And she says, I want what could have been. But y'all still have time for that. You do. Y'all still have time for that. One more from her and one more from him. She says, I'll forever be haunted by what could have been. He says, my mistakes are always front and center, where they haunt me daily. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Get a message. We're gonna get a message or two from Spirit here. Um, you know, I'm, until he makes the decision to leave that situation, I'm not feeling much progress here. Um, but the very masculine, you, you should know and understand by now. She keeps telling you she wants what could have been. And there's still time for you guys to have that, so maybe you should get up off your butt and go get your divine feminine. Yeah, and you know, the only reason that I say stuff like that is because, let me tell you guys the story of my brother. Uh, <clears throat> My brother had a high school sweetheart. Uh, he wanted to marry her. She um, she was a year younger than him, and she wanted to finish high school first. And you know, he got mad and broke up with her. And um, he ended up marrying someone else. And I I think it was maybe about. 25 years later, they got back together. Now they've been happily married for, uh, he and the child, uh, high school sweetheart, got back together and they've been happily married for about 10 years now. And I am going to say uh, that I've never seen my brother as happy as he is now as an adult. I'd never seen that until he got back together with her. Okay, so <clears throat> we have um, two messages from Spirit. It says, ask love no questions and it will tell you no lies. Every step of the spiritual path leads us into the unknown. The trick is not to be afraid to take each step. Yeah, Divine Masculine, you hear that? The trick is not to be afraid to take each step. Yeah. Well, y'all, my only remaining question is, <clears throat> will there be contact in the next year? I mean, I'm really feeling like <clears throat> union could be possible if the Divine Masculine we leave this situation that's not serving him. I feel like it even could be possible. So, let's find out what, if anything, is going to happen. You know? Like, I mean, I want to 
ask him. I want to ask the divine master. So, what's the deal? You're going to leave this karmic situation behind uh, so you can go get your divine feminine? Hell, dude. Stop clinging to that preconceived egotistical notion. She's got her own divine counterpart out there. Let her go find it. My lord. Come on. Give me something good. The dolphin. The dolphin. I'm not really sure huh, which one the dolphin belongs to, but we know it means something good. Let's see. Where's my little key here? Okay, so... The dolphin is March. So, hey, yeah. Maybe he can uh, get himself out of that <clears throat> situation by the time uh, March rolls around. And then you two can go have them babies that you all want to have. Okay, so, well, guys, I guess that about covers it. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Thanks for taking the time to view it. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell as we upload brand new reading every day. Wishing you love, peace, and happiness. Later Gators.